Hello guys and welcome to another episode of Border Collie Adventures. Believe it or not, I've tried to film this four times already. Haven't I? <laughs> <laughs> but no, it's okay. I'm here today with my one-year-old Border Collie dog, Paddy. I wanted to talk to you guys about leads, harnesses and collars. Because this one likes to pull. Now I'm one of those owners, I don't mind too much that he pulls but when he does pull I like to have that little bit of extra extra hold on him because he can he can rip your arm off and can you so I'll talk to you first hang on I'll just put Paddy on his lead he wants to go and play so he's not too happy with me at the minute so I'll talk to you about sit down sit down thank you so this, pardon you, this is Paddy's harness. It's a one tigress. It's really, 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 really strong and durable. Can you come out the way? <laughs> Sit down for me. Sit down. Thank you. Oh, okay, all right. But yeah, it's really, really strong and durable. You can <laughs> stop it. No, all right, go and play. Come on. So <laughs> you can. I will get there in a minute. Go and play. <laughs> so it's got four clips. One, two, three, four. Got his back loop. A handle. And you've got full straps, just in case it's not quite big enough. For Paddy, this is not quite there yet. He's put on a lot of weight the last couple of weeks because I thought he was a bit too skinny. Can, can you not? I'm just going to throw a stick. Went the wrong way. I thought he was a bit too skinny, so I upped his food. He's now, he looks... A million dollars, he looks really, really good. He's got a nice coat on him. He has his Omega 3 and his egg every day. I ran out of eggs yesterday, so I need to put some more of those up. You come back with a bigger stick. No. <laughs> One sec, guys. Two, literally. That dog. <laughs> anyway, like I said, four clips. One, two, three, four. His back ring. Nice handle and some pull straps. Really, really strong. Even doubles as a seat. You put it down flat, you don't want to get your bum wet. I use it like that quite a lot, to be fair. Also, I have a mental dog. I have a one tigress, again. One tigress lead. But it also doubles as a doggy seat belt, which I think is brilliant. It's got Another clip, two clips, harness, lead, uh, lead, harness and collar, and then your, your seat belt. Got one hoop, two hoops, and that one for whatever that one's for. He's also got a one tigress collar on, but I'm not sure he's going to come over here and let me show you. One second. So I've managed to collar him. Get the pun. So this is his one tigress collar. It's really, really good. I'll just spin it around. So it's got the loop and the handle. Lovely strong strap as well. Stop walking away from me. So, you know, and like I said, one tigress again. It's all one tigress. I find their stuff absolutely brilliant. Sorry, let's sort that out. There we go. I find their stuff absolutely fantastic. Yeah? <laughs> um, like I said, they're really strong, they're really durable. So I think that'll be enough on collars and leads and harnesses. I'm going to get the pooch, wind him up, 
and get him in the water because he's digging holes and getting himself covered in mud. What are you digging for, Paddy? Oh. What are you digging for? Hey? Do you have to do that? You're digging up the forest. That's not very good, is it, really? Here you go. Right. So, I will just sort him out. All I've got to do is pick his stuff up, but I'll be back with you guys in just a sec. So, off we go. So I did mention to you guys earlier about, obviously, I thought Paddy was too skinny. He did, he went through two sort of stages. Once when he was a puppy puppy, I say a puppy puppy, he was about four or five months old, he lost a lot of hair on his back. Like, sort of like from his shoulder blades down, he lost a lot of hair. So I researched some bits and pieces and a lot of people said, you know, it could be diet. What's that? Oh, it's that. Sorry, let's try and get rid of that. A lot of people said it could be diet. So I picked up this stuff called Canine Prime. So I gave it to him and it worked. Well, I'm not saying it was the Canine Prime that worked, um, but his hair grew back and he looks really, really good. He then lost it again, his hair again at about 10 months old. And at this point I started to get really, really, really stressed because he looked horrific. As you can probably see in some of his videos, his his back looks completely different to what it does now. I was getting really stressed about it. I went to the vets and stuff. So, still not quite sure why it happened, but he's now on Omega-3. He has egg, his diet's upped, and like I said, he's not gonna, <laughs> he's not gonna sit still for two seconds. Like I said, his, um, his coat is now absolutely incredible you can still see a little bit of sort of like a gray white on his legs that is fur it is fur it's not bold but it is slowly starting to turn black again which is amazing because he'll look like he did when he was a puppy and he was adorable but now he's a pain in the backside even though i wouldn't change him for the world at all so if you guys want to let me know in the comments below what harnesses and stuff that you guys use I seriously recommend one tigress I do but if you want to let me know down below what ones you use that would be brilliant I don't know why he's doing this digging malarkey can you not do that anyway come on let's go and off he goes I've also been doing a little bit of training with him he's um Sort of doing like a, getting him to lie down in front of me when I'm out and about, and just to wait and wait to move until he's told. Paddy, come here, please. Come here. Sit down. Sit down. Good boy. Off you go. It took him all of 20 minutes to learn how to do it. Like they say, the border collie is the most intelligent dog, and trust me, I think he's too smart for his own good sometimes because he seems to outsmart himself which is sometimes really really funny where's he gone <whistles> Whoop, and he slipped over as you can tell it's really really muddy today not nice buddy he'll be in the water somewhere he always is buddy come on Hmm. Where is he? I can hear him. What did I say? In the water. Where did you go? Hey, well, at least you came back. It took you longer than I wanted to. But I wanted it to. Like I said, he's, not, he's normally really, really good at coming back. His recall is something that I constantly train every time I come out. It's just a constant thing. Come on. Oh, okay. Well, that's 
You all right? You okay? Down. Good boy. You want to do the boop? You want to do the boop? Uh, boop. So yeah, lovely day. Absolutely weighing it down. Don't know if you can hear it. Uh. Paddy! See? Straight away. Here he comes. Whoa! Hi. You okay? I'm, I'm not even telling you to do that, but wicked. Down. Good boy. And say hi. And say hi. Oh. Well, sorry guys. Somebody decided to, as you saw on the video, hit my phone with his paw. <laughs> it's all right. I'll just, I'll sort it out later. Um, I can't remember what I say now. But yeah. Me too. Yeah. Oh yeah, I was talking about the weather. I said it was weighing it down. That's a lovely mud. Lovely mud. Paddy loves the mud. He loves the water. He loves anything that winds me up. That's what he likes. And I'm totally wearing the right shoes for this. Yeah. Hi. Yeah, guys, we reached 100 and... Last time I checked, there's 173 subscribers, which is amazing. I never even expected to get 10, to be fair. So it's great that you guys are doing it. I've just realised there's mud all over the screen of my phone. Thank you very much. Thank you. You got my phone all dirty. Yeah, yeah I don't care. Go on. Go on in. We did plant some wild flowers here, actually. He came out with my partner and my my stepson. We planted some wild flowers here about two weeks ago, but they don't seem to be coming up. So we'll see. In the future, they might, they might not. Something, something for the bees to snack on. Are you going in or no? Go on in. Ready to de go. Why aren't you going over there instead? Because of you, young man, I'm going to have to try and cut these two videos together. Which I have zero editing experience. I have not a clue what I am doing. Can you stop digging? You've never done so much digging. Have you? No, Dad. Where do you want to go? You go that way? This way? Hmm. He started to do this thing now, as if I'm going in the direction he does not want to go. He tries to jump up and push me backwards. Tries. But, now, we go where Daddy says. Not Paddy. Oh, someone's having a wee. Don't want you to see that. I know he's only a dog. <laughs> it's not very nice showing people your dog going for a wee, is it? That's Paddy bathroom stuff. Yeah. My feet are getting wet. I'm getting wet. I don't own a coat, so. But then again, I'd rather, I'd rather feel the elements than shield from them. all the bluebells starting to go back into the ground and drop all their seeds so we have plenty of bluebells next year. I did make the fatal mistake, this actually just reminded me, I did make the fatal mistake of bringing Paddy out about two hours after he'd eaten. You'd think that'd be enough, you know, so he could run around and stuff, but we got to here and Paddy decided that his food should no longer be in his stomach. So, felt really bad, so I took him home and fed him some, <laughs> fed him some more. Right, come on. I'd rather you didn't get too wet today because 
it is raining and it's just a bad. So guys, I don't know if you actually noticed in my previous videos that, you know, these woods look different to what they would normally. That's because I'm the other side of the river. You got the river just down in here. I walk up that side. But nowadays when I do my videos, I've decided that I'm gonna walk down this bit because it's more twisty windy, less people. And I think Paddy enjoys it more as well. Here, anyway, talk with the devil, and it shall appear. Hi. Hey. Hey. <whistles> you sit down. Down. You've been a good boy. Oh dear. What did you do to your nosy? Oh, buddy. You cut your nose. He's like, yeah, Dad, I don't care. Just let me go and play. Ah, oh, you come back because you knew I didn't tell you. Good boy. Go on him. Got a little cut on his nosey. It's not bothering him, obviously. That's fine by me, as long as he's okay. Go on then. Go on then. Where'd he go? Oh, he's gone down on the beachy bit. Let's go and see. Let's go find Paddy. Where's Paddy? There he is. Hi. Do we have to stay out for much longer? I know we haven't been out very long, but it's wet. Hey? Stay quiet so you can hear the birds. Hi. <laughs> Sorry, just bumped into another doggy while he was playing. Morning. Yeah, why don't you guys in the comments down below let me know what breed of dog you have as well. I'm always interested to know. And just know how many border collie owners there are. Paddy, come on! <whistles> Paddy! He's run after that other dog. Oh, that was amazing. I just bumped into another border collie. Paddy absolutely loved it. I've never seen him play like that with another dog before, and she adored him. She was called Meg. She was very, very pretty. She was a longhead. Obviously, where Paddy is a smooth. Lady was really, really nice. But, yeah. Was that fun? Did you enjoy that? Yeah? Oh, I couldn't stop them. They were actually just running backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards. It was great. Come on! Oh, there you are. I see you. Well, guys, I'm going to knock it on the head, I think, because I'm getting wet and I want to get home really quickly. Hi. So, like I said, guys, let me know in the comments below, you yeah, know, what dog you have. What breed, what harness and lead you use. Maybe even your dog's name. Whatever you want, let me know. I'll reply to as many as I can, along with my day job, which I'm not in work for another three days, which is amazing. So I've got three days off, so I can reply to as many as possible. Oh, ducks. But yeah, subscribe, like, do all that rubbish. 
and I'll get Paddy back here just to say goodbye to you guys, especially you guys. Paddy, come here. Come here. Here he comes. Well, no, there he goes. <laughs> Paddy, come here. Sit down for me. Sit down. You can say goodbye to everybody. Hey, Paddy. We say bye, guys. Thanks for coming. Paddy. He's like, Dad, I want to go and play. We say cheers and go on. Off you go.